I got four of them. Major sighting here. They're called the Phoenix Lights. The government said video like this only shows a military operation. National Guard pilots training with flares. Plenty of people reject that explanation. And now, 10 years after the fact, the incident's primary investigator explains how and why his analysis shows that this is something else. I had already been analyzing UFO photographs for over 15 years. His name and face may be familiar. In 1997, Jim Dilatoso's company, Village Labs, suddenly got worldwide exposure. There is that incident this year on the 13th of March. One thing not in question. Reporters from all over came to his Tempe office looking for answers to the questions raised on March 13th. You have to objectively take the data out, get the numbers, compare the numbers to a database of knowns, and if you don't get a match, it's called an unknown. It's not called an alien spacecraft. You don't get a match, it's called an unknown. Dilatoso fielded criticism from many who said it wasn't possible to retrieve data from home video the way he claimed, looking at color, brightness, and more in-depth details in a process called spectrum analysis. He says at the time, Village Labs was testing software unavailable to the public or to government agencies. Well, there's a problem because that software was confidential, we were on contract, and I shouldn't have been using it. If the Phoenix Lights event happened today, some changes in the way it was analyzed would be readily available to us. Now spectrum analysis is fairly routine. Home video has gone digital with better resolution and sharpness. Dilatoso still has critics who believe these 1997 videos are nothing more than military flares at 10 o'clock that evening. I don't believe that they're flares. But that's one little piece of time in a three hour long event. What about everything else that went on that night? If this is flares that can fly in formation over the entire state silently and stay in formation, I want to go to work for the company that makes those. All right, and if you missed tonight's special presentation, the Phoenix Lights X, you're going to have another chance to see it. An encore showing Sunday, 6.30, in the meantime, all of our Phoenix Lights coverage and more available, of course, on azfamily.com.